Well, here we go with our next contest. Under 75 kilograms, KW full contact rules. That's K1 kickboxing rules. And this is Bulgaria facing France. And this fight has been a long time in the making due to a certain pandemics and uh, viruses and stuff. It's been three years we've been waiting for this fight to be put together. And the Bulgarian Atanas Boshilov is the European Senchi champion with 15 wins under his belt inside the Senchi ring. I don't know if there's anyone more experienced and more comfortable to be in there, but he's facing Madik Kamara, who is a national kickboxing champion himself back in France and has got titles uh, that a uh, great CV. I mean, the first thing I notice, Albert, is he's stolen a pair of Andy Sauer's pants. Yeah. I mean, the first guy I've seen wearing... I think he's wearing Andy's uh, pants, He must have yeah. found those in the changing room. Yeah. So, but another thing I noticed is the condition of the Bulgarian. You can't ignore the physique of someone like that. The training to, to and nutrition to get a condition yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah. You know, this isn't bodybuilding. It's really hard work. That's hard work. Now, his title's not on the line tonight. No. But no. if Kamara beats him, that's a huge statement. Yeah, for sure, yeah. And I was just, I've been talking to Kamara around the hotel super relaxed and super confident for this fight yeah but you hear he had many fights yet uh, over the 100 fights 120 fights or something 130 fights so there's a lot of experience a lot of experience and do we know is that a combination of, uh, of just kickboxing or, or is that a, uh, oh i don't i don't know i just hear it but you i don't know i mean we hear of muay thai fighters with uh, hundreds of fights but very rare that you actually hear of a, a pure kickboxer with over a hundred fights. Yeah, I know. I know a few more. Andy, I think, I think has more than two hundred fights. And me, I have one hundred forty-eight. <laughs> wow. But how many fighters do you see nowadays with records like that? Very, very few. Yeah, yeah. And I'm. F you know, my sport is mixed martial arts. And if a guy's got 20 fights in mixed martial arts, they consider him a veteran. Yeah, yeah. Man, and they fight for a title after five fights. Yeah. Wow, that was a lovely right hand. A lovely straight right he there from wobbling. the Frenchman. He's a little bit drunk. Well. Yeah, he's not all there, is he, Albert? No, I don't think so. I think he's a little bit... Uh, He's still a little bit dizzy. He's got to be careful because his, his left hand is dropping and he's going to be open yeah. for that right hand again. I think it was not such a hard punch. Well, they don't have to be a devastating power if they're right on the button. You know, if you get that sweet spot on the chin. Yeah, that is, for everybody it's uh, finished. Yeah. That's what they say, you, you see these huge guys, full of muscles, but you still can't train your chin. Get in no, the, get no, no. That was something I used to love about going back in the original days of K1 and Pride. You remember seeing somebody like Iron Mike Zambides um, yeah. fighting one of these big guys. Yeah. Or, uh, you did. Yeah, yeah, he had a tough chin, yeah. You, you ever fight anyone um, who what? outweighed you by um, by a lot? You, you always stuck in your, your weight category, that 70 kilos? Yeah, I always. Or did you fight any of the bigger guys? No, I did a few fights also 72.5. I did also one time, I think, 75. But then I saw myself on television, I think. <laughs> I never do this again because I was much too fat. It don't look like an just like a that small, man, yeah. just a, a few kilos. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. But that's but when you when you're elite. Yeah. The fine tuning is but is what counts. When, yeah. When I'm 70 kilo, I'm on the day of the fight because the way in is the day before, I'm 74 or 75. So when I fought 75, I'm maybe 80 kilo. That's too much. I was too right. uh, really too too fat. Uh huh. It really look look like rubbish. Wow. 
Well, that, that's your opinion. Yeah. <laughs> You're still world class. So, no, but yeah, the, I think if you are a good sportman, the, the body is also to show as a sportman. Look in the heavyweights, it doesn't matter. If you see Tyson Fury, he is a, not a sport body, but no. there's no boxer same like him. No, that, that is a, that's a weird one. That yeah. Is, yeah. Yeah, but he's really special. Yeah. So, they're both coming out with a fast pace here in the second round. The Bulgarian more aggressive, taking the initiative. He's, he's not waiting for the Frenchman to throw and then counter punch. They're both trying to be aggressive. And that south poor stance of the Bulgarian hasn't seemed to. Oh, that was a nice, nice yeah, body a punch. Body shot. But he keep walking in the front. He keep coming forward, forward. And the Frenchman's defense is very tidy as he's coming yeah, forward. Yeah, he's close. He's very close. He don't give away easy points. But Boshilov, he has got, he was hurt, but he's got that experience. Yeah, I think now he's totally over it. it is, uh, he's recovered very well. He looks like he's comfortable bouncing around. But to me, it looks like if Kamara can set something up, Boshilov's defense is open. Yeah. And just keep coming forward, keep coming forward. So I think uh, in this or in the next round, the condition will also uh, I just think take that. a part of the fight. You yeah. think Kamara's tactics here, he's coming forward, he's, he's relentless. He's, try, he's trying to tire out the Bulgarian. Yeah, but he, I think his condition is good because he's keep coming. And he's almost running to the front, so... But in the judges' eyes, who's landing more? Who's scoring more here? Yeah, I think uh, the Bulgarian guy is scoring more points. But the French guy is coming, coming forward and coming forward. But okay. he's getting untidy. Yeah, he was a little bit dizzy. Yeah, wow. So, end of the second it's round. It's a very good fight. It's Still a great no. fight. Yeah, it, it's anybody's fight up to now, and I'm going to give it an unofficial round apiece. First round to the Frenchman, Kamara. Second round, even though he was on the back foot, he was aggressive, the Bulgarian. Throwing punches, kicks, and I think he landed more, yeah, more, more strikes. More point, yeah, more, that, yeah. that did a little bit of damage. Yeah. So it's a round apiece yeah. as we go into the third and final round. You see, he does two or three things. And the French guy does only one, one or two things. So I think every time he do a few more actions in every combination. They both gonna know that they've been in a fight after this. Look at the end of that round. Yeah. We saw the replay. The right the, hook was very good. The Frenchman turned away with a look of frustration. Yeah. And if his game plan has been to tire out the Bulgarian. I don't think it's working. No, no, I think uh, the condition of the Bulgarian guy is also good. Huh? Now they must, they must know that this round is what counts. Yeah. But in a three-round fight, every round is, is counting. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. You cannot think I give one round away because. You have to win minimum two, so yeah. And how? Try to do everything in every round. And what, what about that mindset when you know you've lost the first two rounds? Yeah. And you've got a round left. You've got to knock your opponent yeah, out yeah, or knock him down. Yeah. Well, the French man is keeping coming in the front. He the doesn't make one step back. Kamara is coming forward, but the Bulgarian. Oi, oi, oi. Interesting. Was that a slip oh, or was that a knockdown? What's Jan Sukup going to do? Yeah. 
Well, I'll be honest with you, Albert. I thought that was a knockdown. I thought also was a knockdown. Yeah, was no slip. The Bulgarian handled it well. Yeah. Yeah. He's still wobbling. I see he's still, still wobbling. Yeah. The but Frenchman can sometimes, smell blood. Sometimes when somebody's wobbling, dangerous. it is dangerous. Yeah, yeah. It's like a because wounded animal. No, he can make the other one can make some uh, mistakes, huh? I've been there. I've been there. Run across the ring with my hands down. Boom. One, two, three, four. One, two. He make more action. The Bulgarian guy does a little bit more action, so. He's got better yeah. as the fight's gone on. Yeah. His work seems cleaner yeah. and crisper yeah. now. And al although he has been caught a couple of times, yeah. the Frenchman's power is not worrying him at all, is it? No, no, no. He's not, not so strong, I think. He's not so strong. Oh, oi, oi. The Frenchman's getting tired now. And although he's coming forward, is he running out of ideas? Yeah. It, coming forward and coming forward is one thing. It, you can be as tough as you like. Yeah. But you, there has to be something yeah, working. Yeah, you have to work. Yeah. Now the Bulgarian's conditioning coming, is coming yeah, through. Yeah. When he goes in the front, you see, then most of the danger disappears. Nice, oh, two right hands. hands yeah, no, he's bobbling also. Yeah. He's bobbling also. The corner are telling him, go forward, come forward. Yeah. There's 10 the seconds corner. left of this ten third and final round. This is why he's European champion. Nice right hand again. I think he's uh, totally wow. exhausted. That's fantastic. Yeah, they gave very it everything. Good fight, yeah. very the good Frenchman fight. didn't take a backward step. The no. Bulgarian was hurt on wow. a couple of occasions. But That's showed another us big why he is European champion. Fighters. What spirits? Come on, it is a tennis here in this hometown. Versus Madi Kamara. What do you think? Well, Great fight. Well, uh, <laughs> I'm going to wait for this judge's scorecards to I'm find out. I'm going to go what out on happened? a limb and I'm going to give it two rounds to one to the blue corner, the Bulgarian. Yeah, I think but, but, but for the other one, it will be nice, I think, Arnesto if they have an extra run because it was a good fight. Welcome back into the now, did, did, the, did the Bulgarian get a count in that first round? No, 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 no. So if those knockdowns had been counted and that then, round was a 10-8, yeah. we could see a different outcome. Yeah, yeah. Then it was something totally else, yeah. So the Frenchman raising his hand, he thinks he's done yeah. enough. But for me, the cleaner work, the damaging work, although he was knocked down, and and came yeah. from the Bulgarian. Yeah. And if this goes an extra round, judge number one, yeah. I'll be surprised. 27 yeah. to 29. Judge number two, 28 to 29. And the last score is 29 to 29. It goes in favor of the blue corner. Atanas Bozilo. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's a fair decision, Albert. I think I have to go in the ring now. You because have to go my, in the my ring. My entrance music is coming. But do you realize that even when you're refereeing, you look like you're going to fight? Yeah. It's <laughs> fantastic. But <laughs> this is always my song, so. Yeah, it's everybody's song, isn't it? Yeah. And it never gets old. We'll be presented by Ernesto Hoop. Right. You get away, do your duties. Who's coming in now? Now I think Andy is coming. And good friend Andy Oh, he Sauer. can wait. He can wait when oh. we are finished. <laughs> <laughs> I've lost my paperwork again. What's happened here? Okay, Grant, thank you very much. Well, I enjoyed it again. Yeah. And hope to do it uh, and, 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 soon again with you. And I'll be in the bar later for a gin and tonic. Yeah, so okay. <laughs> Thank you very much. See you, Albert. So, ladies and gentlemen, that's the end of our sixth fight here. Absolute world-class action tonight. Senchi 18 in Varna, Bulgaria. A world-class setup. The surroundings here are absolutely incredible. You'll never appreciate it unless you come to a live Senshi.
a show on a beach in these surroundings is like something from a movie, but this is real. Another thing that's like a movie is being surrounded by legends of the K1, uh, the original K1. Guys who made history. Many 